to everyone here. We know that marriage can be challenging. It can be trying. But when you have the right support system connected to each one, the journey to marriage will be a, a strong relationship. When we look at these two people coming together to make one in union which God has made, God holds us accountable for these two people coming together. Now, they are not only just friends, they are not only just family, but they're loved ones. And we are connected and bonded to one another in love. Amen? Marriage is a commitment to life, to the best two people can find and bring out in each other. It offers opportunity for sharing, growth, that no other human relationship can equal, a joining that promise for a lifetime. Within the circle of its love, marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships. A wife and a husband are each other's best friend, confidant, lover, teacher, listener, and critic. Marriage understands and forgives the mistakes life is unable to, to avoid. It encourages, it nurtures new life, new experiences, new ways of expressing of love through a season of life. When two people pledge to love and care for each other in marriage, they create a unique to the bear, which binds them closer to any spoken written word. Marriage is a promise, a potential, made in the heart of two people who love each other, which takes a lifetime to fulfill. We, who are witnessing your, your marriage, hope that despite the stress inviolable in any life, your love and respect for each other, your trust and understanding of each other will increase your contentment and heighten your joy in living. We pray that God Almighty will shine his face upon your love and your living with blessing and joy beyond all comprehensions. Harold, do you take Norma to be your wife? Love and honor in all duty and service, in all faith, tenderness to love and to cherish her according to the Lord in marriage. Norma, do you take Harold to be your husband? And would you pledge your life to him in all love, honor, and all duty and service? and in all faith, tenderness, love, and cherish him according to the Lord God in marriage. That's all right, that's all right. <laughs> There's a profound scripture in 1 Corinthians that talks about love and its impact and its inspiration, not only to two people, but to everyone. And it reads, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it is not rude. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoice with truth. It always protects, it always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love. Norma, when, you, when we first met, I knew you were the one. After countless, after countless months and the picture of your big head that I could not stop laughing at, something just brought us together. And our bond has been solid since. From this day, you'll never walk alone again. I will give you my heart, my promise, to love you forever. I shall walk with you hand in hand wherever our journey leads us forever. You show me what true love really is, and I thank you for that. You are my best friend, my soulmate. I promise you all of my love and movie nights on Friday. <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> Take your time, baby. So it says, my sweetest Jason, as I stand here before you about to become your wife, all I can think about is how our story began because you swiped right. <laughs> and, I re and I responded to your hello with an hola. Since that moment, I have been hooked. The past two years of my life have been amazing because you have formed part of it. I thank God every day because he loved me so much that he created you for me. So today before God, our family and friends, I vow to you this. I vow that in the moments you feel sad or discouraged, I will be there to encourage you and to make those beautiful blue eyes sparkle. I vow that when you forget how wonderful of a man you are, I will be there to remind you. I vow when, I, when you feel the need to be surrounded by the scent of watermelon, I will be there to fish with you. <laughs> I vow to be the woman, friend, wife, partner, and lover you need in order to become the man God has created you to be. I vow to put no one but God before you. I am proud to call you my best friend, my husband, and the future father of our children. I will proudly stand side by side with you in this lifetime and well into the next. I love you, Booger. I love you, baby. I love you. By the authority given to me by the state of Texas, from God Almighty, before these witnesses are pronounced you, husband and wife, make this your wife. Somehow